Hey there, Eli again coming at you from OSA in Coventry and I am in front of the coral tables today to teach you guys a little bit about a really interesting cleanup crew member and that is the sea hares. Most of these tanks right now have these spotted sea hares which are an Atlantic species. They come from down in the Caribbean off the coast of Florida. These guys are obligate grazers so their diet in the wild consists mostly of hair algae and on some occasions seagrass but there are a handful of different species out there and a lot of them are dietary specialists that kind of pick at certain types of algae in their wild range. The genus for these guys is Aplesia, and as I said earlier, there are a handful of different species. This species in front of me here being one of the larger ones, a lot of these guys are already pushing four inches or so, but they have been seen in the wild somewhere around a foot in length. So definitely a large size slug, but they're truly a mollusk. So they are closely related to honestly clams, mussels, and even octopus. They're in that same sort of categorization. They really resemble snails more than anything else they are a gastropod interesting thing about these guys is they actually do still have remnants of a shell so from their outward appearance they do look like they're entirely soft bodied but they do have an internal shell toward the back of themselves that kind of uh, offers a little bit of rigidity and is kind of still a vestige of their evolutionary roots as mollusks. In aquariums, these guys are very efficient algae grazers, but generally only with um, filamentous algaes, most types of hair algae. And even at that, some types are not terribly palatable to these guys. So generally in an aquarium, these guys are only going to help you out if you do have a hair algae problem, but they are very efficient at getting rid of this sort of pest algae. So they are very good in that regard. However, generally they are efficient enough in most aquariums to run out of food in a relatively short span. So generally when we do have them and offer them for sale here at OSA, we offer a credit back once you run out of algae in the tank so that you have a place to bring this thing back to and we can rehome it from there so it doesn't run out of food and starve. On that note, depending on the diet that these guys have, it really comes down to what specific types of algae that they're grazing upon, whether it's in the wild or in your aquarium. But these guys do tend to have a reputation for being toxic. So kind of similar to the way a squid or an octopus releases an ink when it feels threatened. These guys, if you are not careful enough with handling them, or if they feel threatened by say a fish in the aquarium, will release a very pretty a bright purple dye into the water and this dye can prove harmful to some of the inhabitants of your tank. So it is very important to be careful when handling these guys and if one does happen to ink in your tank, um, a good size water change and running some carbon after that would would help to mitigate any risk of poisoning the tank mates. In addition, if these do die in the tank, generally if it's dying of old age or on its own terms, then it's not necessarily a risk. But if something was to kill this in your tank, say you put it in a tank with a puffer that decided to try to snack on this guy, it can release toxins in that manner as well. So it is always important to be cautious with what you place this animal with and how you handle this animal when you're adding it to your tank. Other than that, these guys are just a really interesting thing to watch in the aquarium. They do resemble rabbits as the name sea hare implies, but I guess that is kind of a loose uh, comparison. Definitely funny looking creatures regardless. Um, and great algae grazers if you do have those nuisance hair algaes in the tank. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, let us know in the comment section below if you have questions or suggestions for future videos and keep on reefing.